Hello my sweets! Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a super kawaii anime girl. So let's start. Let's start with a big circle. It seems all of my tutorials start with a big circle. We'll have to see about introducing some squares and triangles at some point I think. So make this circle about as big as you want the head to be. This uh, represents the upper part of the head. The rest of it will only extend maybe an inch, half an inch below. Also, if you don't want to draw a circle freehand, you can always find an object and trace it, like a roll of tape, a cup, a lid, whatever is handy. Just draw a circle. And if you are drawing it by hand, it does not have to be perfect. Okay. Now divide this circle with a line that's sort of tilted. It's not quite halfway, there's a little bit more space on this side than on this one. Then divide the circle in half again. Still tilted. Alright, so now we have the divisions of the face. She's looking slightly in this direction and her head is tilted in that direction as well. So what we're going to do now is curve out the face and draw down to the chin here. So the chin should be about right here. A very very cute youthful face does not have the chin very much below this circle line. So let's follow this circle until it starts to curve in and we will assume that this is where the eyes will be which means that we can curve it in a little bit more and then back out very softly. The, the part where the cheeks come out the most is at the bottom, is about at the bottom of the circle right here. And then we can bring it back in. From about the halfway portion here we will draw the jawline and bring it down to meet the chin there. We can then erase a lot of these guidelines. Adjust the curves of the face as you like. We could give her bigger cheeks or we could curve the face in here for a more dramatic connection to the chin, but I'm going for a very soft face so all of the curves are very rounded and the chin does not even come to a sharp point. Alright, now we can put in the ear. So we see where the circle ends here and where the jawline begins. Well, this is where the ear will go. So draw sort of a teardrop shape in this space. And adjust how adjust the size as needed. I'm going to make it just a smidge larger and then erase where it connects to the head. All right, now we have the shape of the head. So for a sort of dramatic, lifelike pose, her head is tilted to the side, right? But her neck will not be tilted. So we're going to erase this line down here so that it doesn't confuse us and instead draw a straight line. The inner part of the neck begins right behind the chin. So curve it in a little bit before bringing it straight down. Just a little. And then right behind the ear is the other side of the neck. So we bring this line down and then we start to curve it out when we reach the other point of the neck. So if we had a ruler we could draw a straight line between these. So continue curving this until you can make a straight line. And on this side curve it down and then add a straight line here so that it looks layered. Alright, time for the most important part, the facial features. So we're going to erase this center line and fix this. I accidentally erased a bit. 
Okay, now you see this point at the top, we're going to draw a curved line down to the chin from this point. And this is a more accurate representation of the center of the face. Also, her head is tilted up slightly, as we will indicate with this curved line that curves upward. This is where the top part of her eyes will be. With moe, kawaii, cute characters, you want to have a very babyish, youthful look, which means a whole lot of forehead space, so don't let the eyes get too high up. Big eyes are cute, but it'll start to look weird if they get too high up on the forehead, so keep, it, keep the forehead space empty. The lower part of the eyes should be about midway through the ears. And right below that is the nose, which means we can now erase this center line and just place the nose. It's just a tiny little tilted line. The less detail on less attractive parts of the face, such as the nose and the ears, the better when you're drawing very cute characters. Alright, now for her mouth. She'll have a very small, happy mouth. So we'll do that by drawing a curved line here. And this doesn't look very happy yet. It looks like a little pout. So, hook it down softly on both sides. And don't have it quite meet in the middle. Then draw a curved line in here for the teeth and a line just a little bit off this corner of the mouth which we will darken into black. There, happy mouth! Okay, now comes the fun part, the eyes. We're going to start by drawing an oval here and a slightly thinner oval on this side. And we can now erase the bottom line and the center line for the eyes. Don't be afraid to step out of the guidelines a little bit if you think it'll look better by winging it. So, yeah, I'm just going to darken these a little bit. As you can see, they get, it should get really thin up at the top and then wide and considerably at the bottom. So I will adjust this one to do the same. And now erase the top line. We probably could have erased it a little bit earlier, but I just wanted to keep it so that you can see the placement of the eyes. Okay, now for the eyelashes. So start a little bit over here. You'll have to just eyeball it, see what you're comfortable with, with the placement of the eyelashes. They could actually start way far out, but I prefer it a little bit closer to the iris here. And then just bring the line softly over the iris. It can touch it a little bit. If it touches it a little bit, she'll look very, very soft. And then, once it gets on the other side, it starts to curve inward. When the, eye, when the eyelash or eyelid curves inward like this, it makes the character look more vulnerable and cuter in some cases. So if you're drawing a very tough character, don't do the lashes like this. It'll send a weird mixed message and won't look quite as strong as you want it to. Bring it back in a thin line for the lash. and then bring it down here. Just draw a line and then thicken it up near the top. This back bit should be considerably thicker than the front. On this side, it's going to touch the eye the entire time. So we're not going to start up high like that. We're actually going to follow the curve here and come down, curve in, and draw the lash all in a very small amount of space. I 
I'm just going to darken this a little. And you can add optional tiny little lashes down here. It often gives an interesting effect. I'm actually going to lower the nose just slightly. And the mouth too, because the eyes that I put here ended up a little bit lower than I had planned. So I'm just going to use the same technique from before to draw the mouth. And now she looks less pug-like because the nose and mouth aren't bunched in and up on her eyes. Okay, she has some very tiny little lashes right here. Whoops. They should not be straight, they should be curving up, and they should be very light and thin. So sharpen your pencil or get out your very thinnest mechanical pencil for this. And I'm being a rebel and using my ultra-thick mechanical pencil for this step. Now draw a very small thin line here, following the curve of the eyelashes. This is part of the eyelid. Then we have more eyelid way up here, far higher than you would expect, before her eyebrows, which are very thin, daintily curved lines very high up on the forehead. I'm going to adjust her angle a little bit because that angle makes her look surprised. We don't want her to look surprised, we just want her to look happy. Okay, now time for the eyes. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to use a modern style of shading for the eyes. So that means we're going to have our highlight right here. And it's relatively smaller than other highlights. Then we will have our little concave shape going halfway through. And draw the pupils very, very dark and pretty thin. Okay. Now we can start shading this in. Start it. Shade it very lightly at first, and I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, we need it shaded lightly at first because this side is going to be lots lighter than this side. So now we can go in and darken it, leaving just a small patch of light on that side. And just keep darkening it, and it should be darkest around the edges. And then this part here, you can just shade the whole thing in lightly and then go in with an eraser and erase a highlight in the center. This gives a nice gradient effect, especially if you smear it with your finger or a piece of paper towel. You can also smear this up here. Let me see if I can fit my finger in there. Uh, I couldn't quite do it, so I'll just, I'll just erase what I did over the highlight. Alright, looks great. Don't forget to add a little bit of blush. And now we can move on to the hair. We're going to do a very, very simple hairstyle here. And it's going to be parted in the center and be very nice and straight. So, what we're going to do for that is we're going to indicate where the hair will begin. And from there, just do a thin curved strand that almost touches the eyes and tapers down at the bottom. And then just draw one line here. From that one line, draw a line that curves in the other direction and meets the outside of the head. All right, now we're going to draw a line that angles and almost touches the eyes before another strand falls in front of it and in front of the eyes slightly. Add more lines to this one. And then we can keep going with the strands over here. She has very fine, wispy hair. And a whole lot of it falls over her ear. 
So curve the hair up to this part here. Just keep that in mind, curving it to the shape of the head and like it'll someday touch this part. As you draw down to where it falls straight down here. And we can erase the parts of the neck and ear that it falls in front of. Let's add more detail to this side. We'll just add some strands. And then, you see where the part comes up to the top of the head? We will draw some small lumps here to show that the hair has body and volume and is higher than the head. Don't do too much of this though. Don't have it extend too high up because we do want to give the impression that her hair is very fine, very, very uh, flat, and it's not going to rise up off the head very much. Let's draw a little stray strand going over here just to add interest. All right, we can now draw hair on the other side, which will curve in the opposite direction to mirror this one. The main body of the hair on this side will start in a lot deeper, closer to the neck, and on this side, it'll just come right down from the ear. You can even have more random strands falling in front of the ear. Just do fine wispy strands with plenty of lines. I'm going to smear her blush a little bit. And then tone her hair. You can also add a little bit of detail to the ear if you want. Let's give her a little barrette. Just draw a cute shape here, like, like a panda or something. I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do a heart because I don't like drawing a panda. And there she is. We have our super kawaii manga girl. So I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Don't forget to be a sweet and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my new videos. I will see you sweets later. Bye!